In this video, we'll be looking at how to export IFC files from Impact for AutoCAD. So here I have my project manager open, where I have a project previously done. To create an IFC file, first I need to go in and create a new floor plan. I will just name this one IFC. When this plan is created, we go in and open it up. So here we have the plan ready. What we need to do is generate the IFC, but before that I just want to go in, change this 2D wireframe to realistic so we'll get a better view of the 3D model. So now let's go in, generate the plan. We generate an AutoCAD solid, which is for IFC, and then I actually want to create the model for the whole building. So I choose all floors, all faces, and all types of elements. And then press OK. I want to also generate the cast and materials like lifters, etc. So now Impact is generating this IFC drawing. So as you can see down in the corner to the right, it is generating the plan right now, going through all of the elements that it has to create. In this case, a building with several floors. So let's see just in a few seconds when the 3D model is generated. There we go. We have the 3D model. Let us just go and look at this in an isometric view. So we can see the 3D model and now it looks somewhat like what it did in the project manager, of course. So here we have all our elements with all the detailing in them. It is worth mentioning that when exporting IFC files, this can only be done using AutoCAD architecture. So I'll jump into options here, look at the profiles. It's important we've chosen an AutoCAD architecture profile. So here I have AutoCAD architecture Danish. This is just fine for what I want to do. So I just close it down again. What I want to do here is, I want to add some property sets to go along with the IFC file, some information that comes directly from impact. So adding these property sets is done going into the base module here, and then using the property sets button. Here it's possible for me to choose which properties I want to add to the elements. Here is everything from type of element and status to which stack number it's located on or which what the production date is. In this case I'll see if I can just add the area and the lifters and then I just press OK and it will add these properties as well to my model. So now these property sets have been added and what I want to do is the last thing is to go in and export my IFC file. So I go into the AutoCAD icon up here and I then go down to export and find the logo where it says IFC. This logo won't be there if you don't have AutoCAD architecture. So that's also a quick way of finding out. But let's press this one which will draw up a window where we can specify the IFC. So here we can add a project number, a project name, and a directory to save it in. I'll just add a project number here, IFC01, and save this on the desktop just for to make this easy for myself here. So there we go. What's left now is just to actually press export. And then we're ready to look at this in our IFC viewer. So as you can see here now, it's exporting 1,775 objects. And when it's finished doing that, it will have created the IFC file, which I then later can open up in the IFC view tool of my choice. So let's see here. The export has completed. So my tool here, just as an example, is the Solibri model viewer. So let's open it up here, open up the model IFC on the desktop, and it will now load it. 
So here we have our IFC model. And by picking in, for example, the sandwich wall here, I can see these two points to the left, which are impact specific data. So I have an area, I have lifts, I have element mark, length, width, height, and the placing, of course, of the element in the 3D model. I can also go and pick a component like a lifter here. If I click the lifter, you can see impact component. This is the type of lifter, and this is the name given by impact to that lifter. So this is the same for all element types, of course. If I pick a holocore, I get impact holocore, the concrete type, section value, the strand pattern, and a description of the strands. For the sandwich wall, concrete, minimal wall and concrete, inner outer panel and insulation, and the thickness also. So this is actually the only thing you need to do. And now this IFC model is ready for collaboration with all the different actors in the building process. So thank you for following this video. Hope it was of use to you. Goodbye.